Welcome to this video. My name is Shani. I'm here to help you unleash your personal brand. And what that means is becoming visible, becoming a magnetic personal brand, monetizing your personal brand, and using sales psychology the right way with client attraction strategies that actually work for you. And you'll see that I've changed my intro a little bit there, and I'm still working on it, refining it, but I'll tell you all about why that happened. But first of all, I feel behind. Um, there's a reason for that. Mainly I'm not following my own rules and my own advice. So I'm getting back on track and I'm going to tell you all about how we're going to fix it because it's been, I promise to do, I think every Wednesday, a YouTube video. It's been two or three weeks that I haven't even done one. And the other thing is that my audio podcast, which is my favorite, I haven't even done an episode since May. So we're gonna fix it, we're gonna get back into it. I'm gonna talk all about that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multitask and I'm gonna create a podcast episode while I'm recording this video. Okay, here we go. So you'll you'll hear that I do my introduction one more time, but stick with me because we, we got we got stuff to talk about, okay? Welcome to the Unleash Your Personal Brand podcast. My name is Shani. I'm here to help you unleash your personal brand. And that means becoming visible, becoming a magnetic personal brand, monetizing your personal brand, and using sales psychology the right way with client attraction strategies that actually work. I'm going to tell you why my intro is a little bit different. I keep spicing it up and refining it and it's gonna keep changing a little bit but um you'll understand why pretty quickly so first of all everybody i fell behind y'all here on the audio podcast i haven't uploaded anything for months and i'm also making a youtube video of this and i haven't been on youtube for a couple of weeks either even though i promised myself that i would do a video every Wednesday. So what happened was that I did not follow my own advice. Listen to me right now. If you think that you can just wing it day by day and just make something for your website or your social media or your podcast, whatever, when you're inspired, it's not going to work. Life is going to happen. You're going to be busy. You're going to be doing client work. You're going to be overwhelmed. And then the weeks are going to go by super fast. And before you know it, you're going to feel overwhelmed and stuck because you're so behind that you don't even know how to get back into it. And then what happens is that you only show up when you have something to sell and people don't connect with you that way. People, people don't like that. People don't like that you're disappearing and ghosting your website or your blog or your social media or your LinkedIn, whatever. And then all of a sudden, when you have an event, when you have a sale, when you have a something, you start posting again. That's not a good way to market yourself. So here's how we're gonna get consistent. When you work with me, I teach a lot about content strategy and systems like systems really saved my business and my life so that's important to me and for me i taught myself to create pillar content and then your creative days or when you're right like really feeling yourself you can come online and put more content on top of that which is the more spontaneous which i call filler content. So it's very important to know the difference between pillar content and filler content. I have this with my clients too, where I, if they have my done for you package, I do include social media management in there. And because they know that I'm taking care of their social media, they think that they can then just lay back and not post and not show up and not do anything. And that's not how they work. They still have to do the filler content. So you have to do both. So here's how it works. The pillar content covers everything that people need to know so that they can know you, like you, and trust you, and ultimately buy from you. So in your content that you prepare in advance, you're going to decide, okay, I want to 
post three times a week or four times a week, okay? So if I post three times a week, that means I need 12 posts. If I post four times a week, that means I need 16. You do the math. Whether this is for any social media platform or if it's for videos, just do the math based on your desired per week frequency, how many you need per month. Then you are going to create enough posts in the topic or topics that cover how people get to know you, how people get to like you, how people get to trust you, and you mix in between those all the informational pieces talking about what you're selling or the event that you have or the products that you have. So once you get those out of the way, you schedule those out and you know that no matter what, if life happens, if you can't open your, your computer for a couple of weeks, whatever happens, you're covered. So those are the pillars that keep your business presence in place. Then you feel free, you get creative again because the overwhelm is gone and now you show up when you feel creative, when you feel spontaneous and this is when you do your filler posts. You have to do the filler posts because people love to see your energy. They love to see you in the stories showing your morning routine or maybe you're just talking to a client and you take a snapshot showing the behind the scenes of what's happening today. They want to see that there's a real person behind this business in addition to reading the pillar content or seeing the pillar content videos. So you want to have a healthy balance of both. But when you have the pillars already scheduled out, that means that you can have a flexible schedule where you are able to disappear without it becoming noticeable. So I always teach people to take social media breaks frequently. Like I personally don't even go online in the weekends, but I have pillar content that covers my presence so that my algorithm and my profile and my audience doesn't fall off. And that goes for your emails, your videos, whichever format that we choose for you that you need to show up in. I did not do my pillar content for YouTube and my audio podcast. So that means that the days went by and I was thinking, oh, I do this all the time. I can pop up real quick like this morning and I'll do it until I catch up. And that is exhausting, it's overwhelming, and just the thought that I have to catch up has been so busy and overwhelming in my head that I just shied away from doing anything and I was in paralysis and procrastination mode. So the way that I'm gonna fix this is this. Number one, I'm going to set the scene. This is my corner that I created where I like to do my content because I can shut the dogs and the cats out. I've got great air conditioning in here. And um, usually I have a lot of plants and flowers around me. I don't today, but I should have this set up with my tripod and my light so that anytime it's ready for me when I decide to have a content day. Because when you decide to have a content day, the simple fact that you need to set up your tripod and hang up the, the sheets of your backdrop and set up the lighting, your brain will go, oh my God, that's so much. Let me just do it tomorrow or next week and you're not gonna do it. So have your space ready. And then I'm going to do my um, videos for YouTube in one day for the month. And I'm going to do my podcast episodes on the basis of pillar content and schedule them out and then do spontaneous episodes where I just want to chat throughout each morning. Now, another thing that I want to recommend is habit stacking, which comes from Atomic Habits from James Clear. If you work with me, this is a book that I am always mentioning as a mandatory read. So one thing that I do is include 
content in my habits. I like to sit here. You cannot see it, but I have a whole desk here, mirrors, light, and everything. So it's amazing for me to sit here to do my makeup because I can use the lights for that as well. So I like to sit here every morning with my coffee doing my makeup. So I can attach the habit of producing a piece of a audio or, or video or a selfie into my routine of doing my makeup. My face is going to be ready for the camera. It's going to take me just a few minutes because I'm already here. So I'm stacking up the routines, if that makes sense. I didn't do it the past few weeks and I didn't follow my own advice, hence I fell behind. So stacking your routines to make it an easy decision to just click play and go is another way to avoid falling behind that I'm going to use to fix this situation. Another decision is that I'm going to reduce the platforms that I'm going to be active on and more of my platforms are going to be passive just for visibility. So I call those the difference between the main platforms, which for me is Instagram and my audio podcast versus my maintenance platforms, which are just for visibility and I just maintain them because I want people to be able to find me. So my main platforms is Instagram and my audio podcast and my maintenance platforms are YouTube, LinkedIn, I'm considering TikTok, and um, all the other social media out there, right? You don't even have to do all that if content creation and personal branding is not your core business as a service, it's not your field of work. You don't have to do that. You can choose one main platform and one maintenance platform and you're done. But just because I want to showcase my work, this is actually my core business, I feel that I need to be visible on all those platforms, but I'm just gonna reduce most of those to twice a month and then be more consistent with the ones that I chose as my main platform. So when you try to be active and treat all the social medias as your main platform, you are going to burn yourself the fuck out because that means you're producing 80 pieces of content per week and that's just craziness. So people that do that, are using a lot of AI, which if you work with me, you know that I teach you to use AI to make your life easier. But they also most of the time have a team. Like I have people that help me post things to show up on all these platforms. If you just have a VA or you are doing things by yourself, then don't try to compete with that. Just choose one main platform, one maintenance platform, and be active on one and just visible on the other ones. And I'll show you how to automate the traffic that comes from there so that you can still benefit of the client attraction possibilities while enjoying freedom, baby. So that's what I'm gonna get myself back on again. It's the, it's the funniest thing when you help other people, you tend to leave yourself behind because you're so busy working with other people. And no, 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 Shani, we're going to stay in check. We're going to keep ourselves on point as well. Um, so those are like my go-to strategies to stay consistent while still enjoying freedom. When we work together, I teach a whole system of using AI to reproduce and chop your videos and edit your videos for you and post things for you, using AI to create posts for you, um, and also apps that I use that do the work for me so that it looks like I'm super active when I'm taking a break. Because you need to stay consistent as a business, but it doesn't mean that you need to hustle. I stand for freedom. I stand for enjoying what you do. I am against becoming a slave to the algorithm and having to post six times a day or having to do dances or trendy stuff like the non-personal, non, um, what is it? The NPC, non-person character, um, AI computer style live videos to make money that people are doing right now on TikTok. Um, I don't do any of those trends. 
I don't post six to 10 times a day. I'm against overconsumption and endlessly scrolling, looking for inspiration. I'm against anything that takes away your freedom because when you became a business owner, you did not sign up to become a slave to social media to get clients in your business. That's not what we're doing here. So I teach how to use systems and get into a flow where you schedule things out your pillar content is doing the work for you. We use ads to create sales out of those. And the filler content is where you feel inspired and free to show up and look super active everywhere and have calls booked to your calendar on a day-to-day -day basis because people see you everywhere, okay? So there's a strategy to systemize that. Um, and I'll talk more about that in more episodes to come. So, hey, YouTube, listen, you will see me um, once a week still, okay? I'm, I'm going to do my best to produce four YouTube videos per month, but if it comes in the way, if it takes too much time from my main platforms, then I will reduce my YouTube to twice a month. So I'm, I'm thinking about that. Because right now, the money, the, the uh, most of my um, calls are booked from Instagram, my emails, my audio podcast, and Facebook too. But Instagram and Facebook, if you do an ad, you can link it on both. So I'm not worried about Facebook that much. So that's what I'm choosing to do. I hope this inspires you to pick and choose some of these things that I'm talking about as your main strategy and change up some things and systemize yourself so that you are constantly marketing yourself, but not constantly working behind the scenes. Um, hey, I want to tell you real quick that on July 26th, if you're listening to this on time, I'm hosting a free webinar about how to revamp your packages into premium offers. So if you are selling things by the hour or you have a lot of low price memberships or you sell packages that are $300 here, $800 there, which I used to do as well, I want to teach and tell how I revamped everything into premium packages and it gave me so much freedom, so much peace of mind and so much clarity. Right now, I just have two tiers of working with me, which is my one-on-one -on -one coaching combined with my mastermind. Um, and the other tier is my premium offer of doing it all for you. So hello, freedom. Goodbye, overwhelm. Yes to more income and stabilized uh, cash flow in your business. So if you want to know more about that, sign up for this free webinar. And um, at the end of that webinar, I'm going to talk about my coaching program combined with the one-on-one -on -one and the mastermind. If it's something for you, you'll be able to start um, booking a call to apply. We start in September but I'm already opening doors for people to find out more information. And if it's not for you, then you can still walk away from that webinar with strategies to start upping your income and your prices. So I'm excited about that. I'll be doing this webinar more frequently, always for free. Um, and this is the first one. So I hope to see you there. I am late for another appointment, so I, I, I gotta go now. But um, thank you for being so patient when I was inconsistent with my content, but it happens. Don't shame yourself. Just get right back into it. Most people won't notice anyway. You'll feel great. You'll get back in momentum. And uh, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye, honey.